Now, stop me if you have heard this one before. Once upon a while ago, there was a fisherman's puppet, carefully made by hand. The puppet lived a simple life inside a modern lighthouse, with everything in its place. And every day began the same way when he brushed his wooden teeth. He was a handsome one, it's true, but enough staring. Time, well, if you don't think wooden teeth need brushing, you've never had a cavity and a splinter at the same time. <laughs> Next, he'd put a log inside his little stove to warm things up. The puppet would put a log inside the stove. Careful now. It would get cold in here. The puppet would put a log inside his little stove. One log out to do it. Carefully, he would pick up nice and warm, safe from the store. Next, he would take his duster and carefully dust his lucky seashell over there on the shelf. His routine never changed. Next, he would dust the little seashell on the shelf in the corner. What next? Hmm. Ah, next, he would take the old duster and dust his lucky seashell. There. The shell reminded him of the sea when it was calm. Next, the fisherman would open wide his window to check the weather. It did get a little stuffy in here. Time to open a quiet sea tonight. Ah. Finally. And most important, every day he would work on his latest model. There, in the center of the room, a perfect model of his own little lighthouse, exact in every detail. It was nearly finished, too. Only two pieces needed to be added to the replica. The little model cabinet and the final section of the wall.
Yes. The model should be a perfect replica. There was a section of the wall missing and a model cabinet. They must have been around here, somewhere. The little puppet of himself was in two parts. It was time to pull himself together. <laughs> There, lucky this model's tired out from his routine. The fisherman will rest his aching wooden bones in his own rocking chair and go to sleep. And dream of models, safe inside, where the smell of paint and glue was always fresh, where the world was simple and snapped together. The puppet would follow his routine, brush his wooden teeth, dust his lucky shell and work on his model. Worlds within worlds, walls within walls, closing out the storm so it could never reach inside. Every morning, the fisherman's puppet walk inside his model lighthouse with everything in its place. And he began his day the same way. Except this morning, something felt different. Mon Dieu, the window had been boarded up. The fisherman didn't remember doing that. Even when the storm came, he was safe in here. But no two silly planks of wood were going to get between him and his routine. Was it Papa used to say? Use the right tool for the right job. something to pry off the boards.
needed some air. He had to find a way to pry off the boards. needed to find something to pry off the boards. needed some air. He had to find a way to pry off the boards. needed to find something to pry off the boards. needed to find something to pry off the boards. Nearly there. What was this feeling? The fisherman hadn't felt like this. At last, the smell of the ocean. But outside, not the sea. He couldn't believe his wooden eyes. Outside the room was another room. A replica room. And standing in it, a huge but very familiar figure of a fisherman. And he knew that if that huge figure were to turn, its face would be very familiar. Sacre bleu! If this was what lay outside, then what was inside his own little model lighthouse, in the model of his own room? <laughs>
The fisherman hardly dared to take the roof off to look inside his own little model. Yet, he had to. It was all there inside the model, exact in every detail, but the tiny version of himself, it was moving. He was inside the model, he was outside the model, and just, just who was pulling all the strings? Just in dear listeners, a general alert to all lighthouses, in spite of all of our thrilling up to the minute warnings, a lone boat has gone out into the storm. Lighthouse keepers, make sure your lights are shining bright. I repeat, a lone boat has gone out into the storm. The lighthouse. The world might be folding in on itself, but only one thing mattered now. He had to turn on the lighthouse lamp high above. The life of a fellow sailor was at stake. A huge anchor blocked the only door. Whoever did it must really want to keep the storm out, or keep something in. It was far too big for the fisherman. Of course, as below, so above. When he lifted the tiny anchor, the large one was lifted by his giant self. Zut! The door was locked. He must have put the key somewhere last time he left this room. Now, when was that? And then, my friends, the strangest thing happened. Inside this room where he knew every cranny and nook, an unfamiliar voice said, Hey! Hey, you! Yes, you, the scruffy-looking puppet! Yeah, you with the strings! Over here! On the shelf! Are you cracked in the cockle? Why did you move the anchor? Why? Oh, why did you take the roof off? The fisherman. He felt, uh, Well, his lucky shell had just started talking to him. And very rudely, too. So he did not feel so great. You test me every day, and you thought I just had nothing to say? I'm an hermit crab, Sonny. And you might not appreciate a nice quiet hiding spot, but I do. Now, shh. And what are we hiding from? I'm hiding from the storm. Why do you think I stole the key? The key? The, the key? Where is it? Oh, fiddler crab sticks. The fisherman took a deep breath. Oh, hermit crab, craftiest of all crustaceans, I must get to the top of the lighthouse. Those sailors out there may be looking for us. We must be brave. Brave? Brave? <sighs> If you can't find me my hat, I will be the captain, of course. And the captain needs his hat and a life preserver, just in case. Then, uh, adjust this once. We will be brave. Well, of course, courageous Captain Crab, said the fisherman. Your hat and a life preserver. Now, where would an everyday wooden puppet find a tiny life preserver and a hat fit for a crab? I should have moved Jen years ago, I know, but uh, I never found the courage to live with this crazy weather outside. Now, here is the biggest storm, and you want me to leave? <laughs> This is insane. Did you find something? Show me, show me.
you find something. Let's have a look. No, no, I don't think so. I'm still waiting for that hat and the life preserver. My outfit's incomplete without them. Then, I think I can help you get the key to the top of the lighthouse. No good, Sebaza. Oh, did you find something? Show me, show me. Find something. Let's have a look. That doesn't look right. Keep going. There. <laughs> Are you uh, calling me fat? That life preserver is far too big for me. No, no. I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think that will help. That doesn't look right. Keep going. No, no, I don't think so. That doesn't look right. Keep going. Good. Ah, I feel more buoyant already. Now I just need a hat. <laughs> How else will people know I'm in charge? Hmm? I don't think that will help. How's it going? The storm is getting closer. I'm not joking.
No good. See by that. Don't think that will help. I should have moved jail years ago, I know. But, um, I never found the courage to live with this crazy weather outside. Now, here is the biggest storm, and you want me to leave? <laughs> this is insane. That doesn't look right. Keep going. The captain is nothing without his hat. If you knew what was out there, mon ami, you'd probably live in a shell, too. So, did you find something? Let's have a look. Feel the storm coming. No. No good. C'est pas ça. Without a hat to my name, how will people know to address me as mon capitaine? That doesn't look right. Keep going. No good. C'est pas ça. How's it going? The storm is getting closer. I'm not joking. I feel the storm coming. No. That doesn't look right. Keep going. Have you found anything? Bring it to me when you find something. The fisherman remembered he had his old hat safely stored somewhere. The crab may like it. There might be something in the cabinet, but the handle was missing. Was there another handle somewhere? I'll admit, I'm a curious crab asking you all this stuff. But this storm is really, really scary, believe me! How's it going? The storm is getting closer. I'm not joking! I should have moved jail years ago, I know, but um, I never found the courage to live with this crazy weather outside. Now, here is the biggest storm, and you want me to leave? <laughs> this is insane.
handles of good, but the hat might be just a teeny tiny bit big for me. Good. Now put it on me carefully. I am very delicate. Whoa! That hat is much too big. It's uh, more of a dent than a hat, no? So, you found everything? Well, if a little wooden puppet like you can do this, then uh, I will be brave. Now, just let me get out of this damn shell. Ah. <coughs> Phew. Breezy. I feel so much lighter. And the world feels so much bigger. I don't think I can go back into my shell after this. All right, let's do this. I'll help you open the door so you can save your fellow silly old sailor. And I, as captain, shall courageously remain here, on guard. Now, let's see. Where did I leave the key? I was holding the key while I was repairing my shell. Then I had a sudden itch, and then... Blast it. I don't remember. The crab had lived his whole life inside this little shell. No bigger than the fisherman's hand. But he was safe. I've lost the key, mon ami. Forget your poor sailor. You'll never be able to save him. to admit, but alas, I have lost the key.
perhaps if he had smaller fingers or a larger shell. You. He wouldn't need to find his way up the tower in the darkness. And already could hear the storm rising outside. Fish fans, and remember, no catch is worth risking life and limb, even if it is the biggest. The biggest fish Papa ever caught. The fisherman had spent all his life trying to learn a catch as big as that. Well, don't you look like a tall drink of <coughs> water? <coughs> it was still alive. This went against everything he had learned. He had to get the fish some water. This section of wall seemed loose. Of course, he had forgotten to glue this part of the model. It was only held on with two latches. This section of wall seemed loose. Of course, he had forgotten to glue this part of the model. It was only held on with two latches. say they were natural enemies, the fish and the fisherman, but he could not let it die of thirst. some water for the poor creature.
cannot work. The door upstairs was locked. Naturellement. That would have been too easy. 